Hello everyone. My name is Smriti Sharma and today I am back with a new topic of Salesforce and that is assignment rule. So let's start this topic. So what is assignment rule? Assignment rule in Salesforce are used to automatically assign lead or any case to its owner. For example, owner means user or a queue. Queue has number of users. Assignment rule is used to automate owner assignment on case and lead based on conditions on case or lead. So assignment rule is basically assigned as per the conditions on that particular case or on that particular lead. Okay, so this is what our assignment rule in. In, in simple terms, you can uh, uh, tell that uh, assignment rules in Salesforce are used to automatically assign the lead or case to its owner. Now, what are the types of assignment rules? There are two types of assignment rules, lead assignment rules and case assignment rules. Lead assignment rules specify how leads are assigned to users or queues as they are created manually, captured from the web or imported via the data import wizard or data loader. Okay, so lead assignment uh, rules is basically uh, specified for the leads where leads are assigned to the users or queues, while case assignment rule is which is determining how cases are assigned to, assigned to a users or a queue. Okay. So this is what are basic differences. Lead assignment rule is used for the leads and case assignment rule are used to assign the cases. Now this is the setting up assignment rule. You can just go on reading on this I'm, uh, by pausing the screen. And till that time, I'll go to the Salesforce org and I'll explain you how to create the assignment rules uh, and how to assign it to any of the users. So let's start. So first I will create a assignment rule, basic assignment rule. So first of all case assignment rules I am creating. So I am just typing case assignment rules. Okay, so this is a case assignment rules. Now I am going to create a new case assignment rule. So rule name I will keep as today is August okay so the August AUG case assignment rule okay this is the name I will keep it as active because I need uh, I need to make it as active now as we progress this is the case assignment rule created for today now I will make the entries for that. So entries are basically the criteria. As per that, the case will be assigned to its owners. So sort order, I will keep it as one for now. But uh, sort orders is basically used to order it to uh, basically to uh, priority wise to keep it as priority wise. If you are keeping it as one, it will be on the one priority. Okay, number one priority. Uh, so that's what I am putting it as a sort order one. So select step two is what is the criteria you want to put as the case assignment rule. So field I will put as a uh, case priority okay let me put it as case priority equals to now what are the values here so we have three values here high medium and low let's keep it as high so this rule will be applied when the case priority will be equal to high let me put another uh, rule as well or another uh, criteria as well so that will be uh, let me keep it as case status Okay, so case status will be equal to, okay, now we have four uh, options here, so I will keep it as new. Okay, so whatever case, so we have two, cri uh, two uh, criteria basically where case priority is equal to high and case status is equal to new, then only this case assignment rules will work. Now step 3 is you can assign it to either user or queue or partner user, okay. So user is the one person. Uh, if you will put it as user, you can assign it to any of the one person. Okay. 
and the queue is a number of persons you can keep like 5 10 any number of so let me tell you about the queue okay so that you get it so let me create a queue for this i'm just creating a duplicate for now so that and so here if you type on the search bar queues you can open the queues okay now i will create a new queue this is again August Q. Okay. Email you can just leave it for now. Now available object I need to put it on case. Now the members I want to keep it. Let me select two or three members here. Okay. So I have just kept a number of users on this queue, okay, and I can just save it. So this is the queue which has been created today, 13, okay, August queue, okay. So let me select here the same queue when I was creating the case assignment rule. What you can do is in the starting only you can create a queue so that while creating this case assignment rule you will get it, okay, or else when you reach to this step you can directly uh, create a queue and then you can assign it. So this is August queue. I'm assigning it to that. Now this is email template. So what template we will be using whenever any email will be reaching to any of the users. As soon as the case will be assigned to the owner, the owner will be receiving an email. So what e template he will be receiving that email that we will choosing. We will be choosing here. So I will be choosing here support case assignment uh, okay this only support case assignment notifications okay now i will be creating now i will be saving you don't need to select this option for i am saving it okay so this has been created case assignment rules has been created okay now what we will be doing we will be creating a case I will be going to set up and now I will be or app launcher we can select okay yeah from here we can just create a case now so a new case okay so we will be creating case from here classic only don't know what lightning has the problem but same way you can create on the lightning as well okay so here i will keep it as status as new and priority as high so that our criteria is matched okay uh, this you can create as email contact this one only i'll select account okay And one thing we need to remember is like assign using active assignment rule. This you need to check so that it gets assigned as per the assignment rule. Let me save it. So this has been created. Okay. So uh, the assignment rule has worked upon and I think we have reached, uh, we have got the email as well. Yes, so I am checking as per this uh, uh, queue, case owner, we have received the email. So I'm just checking if the email has been reached. So you can see that email we have uh, email we have received on the e Gmail. So let me open this. So you can see that case has been assigned to you and there is a link. So when you try to open this link, it will open the same case. So user has been assigned the case and when he's, he's opening through his email, that case is opening and he can see the details. Okay. And because this is a queue, 
uh, it has been assigned the case case owner is has been assigned to queue so or email must have been gone to all the members of the queue so i have just shown you one of the member but uh, as it is a queue the email should have been reached to all its members okay so this is what a case assignment rule is let me uh, check for the lead assignment rules as well so lead assignment rule is also the same thing and on the setup we'll just uh check for lead assignment rules i'll create a new lead assignment rule rule name is test lead assignment i'll make it as active Okay, now I'll create a test lead assignment rules. Okay, so same way I can create a rule entry for this as well. So sort order again, I can keep it as one field. I will keep it as lead. Lead status. Okay, lead title I can keep or else. Lead city. Okay, let me keep it as lead city equals Dehradun. Okay, another is lead company. Equals cognizant. Okay, now I am assigning it to a single user. Okay, that, uh, uh, in the previous uh, case assignment tool, I have assigned it to the number of persons, but now I am just assigning it to one person. Okay, this is the person. I'm just assigning it template. I'm again assigning it to the same. Uh, there is a template for support. This this one we uh, assigned it last time. Support case assignment notification. Let me check it if we have for lead as well. Okay, notify user about lead assignment. So this one uh, email template I've assigned. invalid data review okay safe so this has the rules has been created okay let me create a case once again From the app launch, you can select. I'm so sorry. Let me create it uh, for lead. I forgot. Yeah, lead. Uh, we have to search. Okay, so this is new lead. I am just creating phone number, anything you can give. And Company, you can keep it as cognizant as per the rules we have selected. Okay, and the other one is the uh, city. So here I will select a city. Okay. And again, I will assign it to active assignment rule. Okay, now I'll just save it.
okay so this lead has been assigned and uh, if you see the details the lead owner is what i have assigned it is not the queue member but it is a single person so that's why the name has been assigned and email must uh, have been reached to that person but i don't have that uh, email of that particular user i just created it for the uh, testing purpose so i don't i cannot show you the email but in the same way what i showed you earlier the email must have reached reach to that person this person who has been assigned uh, the uh, email must have reached as per the template one more thing i'll quickly want to show you is the email notifications email template sorry so this is the template you can see that uh, all email templates okay Okay, so these are the email templates which we were selecting. So here you can see that uh, case assignment as well as the uh, lead assignment will be there. See, this is the user about the lead assignment. So this is the template which we were selecting. So you can create your own email and you can send it to any of the user as per your requirement. Like whatever uh, you a template you want, you can just create a new classic email template and you can assign that same template on the uh, lead assignment rule or case assignment rule. Okay, so I think that's all about the assignment rules. I've already explained you about the assignment rule, both lead assignment rule and the um, uh, case assignment rule. So if you have any of the doubts, please add the comments in the comment section and don't want to, uh, just don't forget to like the video and subscribe the channel. I will be coming next week again with the uh, new topic of the sales for or maybe I can come with any of the certification uh, question or answers which I will be preparing. I will be sharing you with soon. Till then, uh, please like the video and subscribe the channel. Thank you so much.